Welcome to Sled Check. I'm Dylan with Dennis Kirk, and on this brand new series, we're gonna be diving in, taking a look at what it takes to get your sled ready to go out on the trails. Talking about some preseason maintenance, as well as some fantastic upgrades for your ride. So let's get to it. So let's go ahead and take a look at that preseason checklist. A few things that are extremely important to take a look at this riding season are wear rods. Wear rods wear out extremely quickly, so make sure you take a look at those. Your skis, your fluids, your belts, your clutches, your brake, your track, suspension, lighting, and the overall condition of your snowmobile. All right, so let's go ahead and start by taking a look at the skis and the wear rods. So what I have here is a ski that has a little bit of wear and tear, but doesn't look too terrible. If you guys see any holes or cracks, that's something that needs to get replaced. Like this, it's just a little bit of wear and tear on the ski and you're gonna be okay. Now, wear rods. These are something you guys are gonna wanna make sure that you check frequently. Taking a look here, we do have a carbide on this as well. Now the carbide could be a little sharper. It is all in one piece, it's looking okay, but this is something that does get worn down quickly. So this is what we're really looking for. We wanna make sure that this carbide and wear rod are nice and solid and have a nice sharp edge so it bites into those corners, making sure that you have good grip when coming around um, at high speeds. It's extremely important. So go ahead and make sure that you have something like that before you hit the trails. Next up on the list, we're taking a look at our fluids. We wanna make sure that these stay topped off throughout the riding season. Now your sled might vary, keep that in mind, but in general, this is kind of what we're looking at. Oil, we wanna make sure that this gets topped off every time we go out. You never know how far you might travel. Coolant, um, some sleds are liquid cooled. This one is, we wanna make sure that stays topped off. Yours might be fan cooled and that's okay. Now coming up here, we will have our brake fluid as well. You're gonna find this pretty much on every sled make sure that you can see that fluid in there and everything's good to go so next up on the list we're going to take a look at a few things since they're all pretty close together taking a look here we want to make sure that we have a spare belt as well as tools with you out on the trails you never know what could happen Going beneath that, we're taking a look at our clutches themselves. You wanna make sure that there's no debris or goop hanging up on there. And the clutch overall looks pretty decent, but you're always gonna to wanna to make sure to clean them up just to make sure that belt slides nice so you get all the power out of your engine. This belt here looks pretty good, so we're not too concerned. Last but not least, we wanna make sure that we have brake fluid as well as good brakes. Now this one does have a small cover on it. This is gonna vary definitely between every make and model. But just double check all of that stuff for safety. All right, so we've come on down to the front suspension. We wanna check over quite a few things up here. Number one, we wanna make sure that our springs are good to go. We don't want any cracks on these things. So this one looks pretty good, just to go ahead and double check that on your sled as well. Our shock here is clean and there's no fluid leaking, so that's a good sign. Uh, go ahead and grab your A-arm and give that thing kind of a twist. As you guys can see here, we do have some bushings out or that are starting to go out on this sled, so that's probably something we're gonna wanna get replaced, just so that way we have a little bit better handling out on the trails. And talking about that, I think it's time that we should make sure that we go ahead and grease everything in the front and rear suspension. Uh, now's a great time to get that done as well. Um, taking a look elsewhere on here, you're gonna wanna make sure that your A-arms are straight. These things do take an absolute pounding over the years, and that's something that can cause some issues where they can get a little bit bent, and it can cause just a little bit of issues or moving around out on the trail. So go ahead and double check that as well. But this looks pretty good, so let's go ahead and check that rear suspension. All right, so we've made it back to the rear part of the suspension. Now, there is quite a bit going on back here, so let's break it down for you guys. So, we're gonna go ahead and start by taking a look at the bearings themselves on the wheels. We wanna make sure that everything spins freely. If you guys do feel a little bit of tension in those wheels, it's probably time to get those bearings replaced. Taking a look on the outside of the wheel here, you guys are gonna notice this little rubber coating. We wanna make sure that that is good to go all the way around. We don't want any weathering, any cracking, or any chunks missing, as this can cause premature damage on the suspension itself. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at our shocks. We wanna make sure that the springs and overall suspension looks pretty good, so we're not going to have any leaky valves 
on the shocks themselves. This one looks pretty good, but just make sure to double check yours on your sled. Also, high facts or slides. Now this is a very important one as they wear down fairly quickly. And we will have a nice little wear line on these to just to help check when it's time to get new ones. But most of the pressure is gonna happen in the front portion of the suspension itself. And that's where you're gonna to wanna to really watch that wear line because it can go down fairly quickly. If it does go too low, you're gonna cause pressure on your rail systems and it can cause a crack in the rail and that's gonna cost you quite a bit of money. So let's go ahead and take a look at the overall condition of the track. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the track. Man, as you guys can see right off the bat here, we have a blown out stud. I can literally see the wheel on the other side of this track. That is not good. Here we have a broken stud, a bent stud. Some of the lugs are even torn on this thing and this is just not looking good overall. This is actually a hazard. If you guys were out cruising on the trail and this thing was to blow, you're gonna lose your braking system. So this is something we're definitely gonna wanna get replaced. So next up, we wanna take a look at the lighting on the snowmobile. Not only for your safety, but it's also completely illegal to run on the trails without lights. So let's go ahead and fire this bad boy up and take a look at the lights on the sled. That's gonna do it for this episode of Sled Check. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. On the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at tracks that are gonna work perfect on this sled. I'm Dylan with Dennis Kirk. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Sled Check. I'm Dylan with Dennis Kirk, and we have a brand new series for you called <laughs> called Sled Check. Well, yeah. Other than that, I think we can go ahead and take a look at the rear part of the track and just take a look at the look of it overall. Son of a <laughs> 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 bitch. We, we, we need one more safety. You're okay. Right at the end, the one thing at the end, you, you said it, but you kind of just cut. We were, like, I was you're, like, you're, you're, uh, you're, did you're, I really get it? All right, so we've come on down to the rear suspend to the rear. Ha! <laughs> 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 That's a good blooper. <laughs> it's been a day, guys. <laughs>